guys, today I'll be showing you a bit of my Pokemon card collection. As you can see here, I have a lot of cards. Probably not as much as you have, definitely not. Because, yeah, I've only started collecting Pokemon cards and I love them. And in today's video, I'll be showing all of my fighting type Pokemon and I'll be leaving the rest for next episode but before we start I have to tell you something on our channel we don't just do Lego building video and uh, Pokemon videos we do things like Lego building videos connects building videos and Beyblade videos we also have another channel it's called Parser Tube Gaming we do gaming videos such as Minecraft, Pop and Rubber, Roblox, Balloons, TV Battles, Pokemon FIFA and more. So let's start. So um I'm just thinking this isn't much so I guess I'll just do more more than um just this so I'll do these as well. Yeah that that's decent for today's video. So sorry it's just my sister. Um I think I'll start with the the, this and these so here we have the double touch it's a little bit bent it's making it straight there we go <clears throat> the double turbo energy it says as long as this card is attached to a pokemon it provides two energy the attacks of the pokemon this card is attached to do less damage to your opponent's pokemon before applying weakness and resistance it says energy up here and special energy there and two energy and also the reason why this is such a rare card is because it's kind of obvious it's gold it's a golden card these are so hard to get and it's from a set called astral radiance <clears throat> put that at the bottom and now i'm going to move on to fighting type here we have my, one of my favorites the sandaconda vmax at the top it says vmax which is the type it is and beneath it it says evolves evolves from sandaconda v here it says gigantamax and that is the picture of Sandaconda V. Very small. And then here we have the fighting type energy. The HP which is 320. So let me just read it up for you. <clears throat> so for one fighting type energy. Sand Pulse. This attack also does 20 damage to each of your opponent's benched Pokemon. Don't apply weakness and resistance for bench Pokemon. And it does 60 damage. And for two fighting type energy and one primary energy. Move any amount of energy from your po Pokemon to your other Pokemon in any way you like. Uh, well this isn't primary energy. It's whichever other energy you want. So yeah next card goes at the bottom they're not all res they're not all res it's all my cards so yeah now we're going to move on to <clears throat> the trainer spark rainbow rare from pokemon go it says draw two cards if you drew any cards in this way flip a coin if heads Attach a lightning energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched Pokemon. And over here it says you may play only one supporter card during your turn. <coughs> Moving on. Now it's to... Then the rest of the trainers are just basics, but I'll also show them. Now moving on to... Concordor V. It's a basic because it's a V card. 
Um, he has 230 HP, and there is there is the fighting type energy. If and here for one fighting type, I'll just hold it like that. For one fighting type energy, <clears throat> you can do the attack counter, which does plus 20 damage. If this Pokemon was damaged by any attack during your opponent's last turn, this attack does that much more damage. So let's say your the your opponent's last one last attack, they like did um like fifty damage. You do twenty damage plus that fifty damage, so you do seventy damage to your opponent. Very overpowered. But not as overpowered as Dynamic Punch. <clears throat> but one fighting type energy and two other energies. Flip a coin. If heads, this attack does 90 more damage. And your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. Its weakness is to, to Psychic and it does double. Uh, so Psychic types do double damage to it. So yeah, and I'm going to move on. Now we're going to the common things. Blanche from Pokemon Go. Draw two cards. If you drew any cards in this way, flip a coin. If heads, attach a water energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Move on. And it's also from Pokemon Go. Next, the V card. Hisuian Decidui V. For one fighting energy, Mountain Hunt. Search your deck for up to two cards and put them into your hand, then shuffle your deck. And then for three energy, Close Quarters Shooting. For a hundred damage, this attack's damage isn't affected by any effects on your opponent's active Pokémon. Let's move on, and it's also got two hundred and twenty HP. Next, we have unidentified fossil. It does 60 damage. I mean, you see, it has 60 HP. Play this card as if it were a 60 HP basic Pokemon. At any time during your turn, you may discard this card from play. This card can't retreat. You, you, you may play any number of item cards during your turn. And at, at the top, it says 60 HP. I'm not sure what the use of that is for, really. Because it just takes it out. Unless the Pokemon's attack does damage to itself as well. I'd say out of one of um, nearly all of my other cards. I think this is probably the most overpowered one. Because of this, this one for one energy. Reaping Claw. If your opponent's active Pokemon has 100 HP or less remaining it is knocked out so yeah if if you've done damage to it and it has less than 100 health left they have been knocked out and then for three energy boulder crush 160 damage so if you were to do two or more armadoes at the same time he has 150 hp yeah and as you can see here, it's stage 2, and it evolves from Anorith. Moving on! Yay! Now it's on to Toolbox. Look at the top 7 cards of your deck. You may reveal any number of Pokemon tool cards you find there and put them into your hand then shuffle other cards back into your deck 
sounds nice. You may, yeah, and it's the same old, you may play any number of item cards during your turn. And don't get me wrong, I think this is from Silver Tempest. Yeah, wait, wait, no, this isn't from Silver Tempest. This, this, yeah, the, this is from a different one. I'm pretty sure it's like Lost Origin. Yeah, I think it's Lost Origin. Let's do another item. Let's do the rest of the uh these ones. So there's only three left. Okay. So Colress's experiment. Look at the top five cards of your deck and put them and put three of them into your hand. Put other cards in the lost zone. V guard energy. As long as this card is attached to a Pokemon, it provides one energy. The Pokemon this card is attached to takes less three thirty less damage from attacks your opponent's Pokemon V after applying weakness and resistance. This effect can't be applied more than once at a time to the same Pokemon. Dark Patch. Attach a basic ghost energy card from your discard pile to one of your benched ghost Pokemon. Yeah. And that's for the, the good old energy and item card. Moving on. Hippodon. Stage 1. Evolves from Hip... Hippopotas. Yeah. It has 150 HP. For 3 energy, Bite, it does 80 damage. And for 4 energy, Sand Breath, 180 damage. Discard 2 energy from this Pokemon. Hariyama, stage one, evolves from Makuita for two energy, oh, it has uh, 140 HP. For two energy, shove, 40 damage, flip a coin, if heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. For three energy, muscular slap, 100 damage, this attack's damage isn't affected by resistance. I would read the bottom bits, but it's too small. It's too small to read. I guess I could uh, read them for the the type of sets when I do that. Beware. Stage 1. Evolves from Stufal. 130 HP. For 2 energy. Sp split Spiral Punch, 40 damage. Your opponent's active Pokemon is now confused. And for 3 energy, Strength, 130 damage. Stone Journal, 130 HP. Basic Pokemon. For 1 energy, Rock Throw, which does 20 damage. For 3 energy... Mystery press that does 60 plus damage. If you have no supporter cards in your discard pile, this attack does 130 more damage, which in total is 190 damage. And now, Claydol. Stage 1 evolves from Ball Toy. HP 110. Ability, Mystery Charge. You can use this ability only if you have no supporter cards in your discard pile. Once during your turn, you may attach a Fighting Energy card from your discard pile to one of your Pokemon. And for 3 energy, Spinning Attack, 70 damage. Relicanth, Basic, HP 90. For one energy, 
into the deep put two basic energy cards from your discard pile into your hand three for three energy tackle 80 damage Hisuian Growlithe, HP 70. Wait, 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 wait. This is a misprint, guys. Look, it, it hasn't been printed properly. Let me just show you what I mean. If you look at this one, that has a star on it. And it's missing the star. And usually, this card has... A damage counter on it it's, it's supposed to at least do 20 damage I think so yeah this is a misprint guys singe for one energy your opponent's active Pokemon is now burnt strange misprint okay cubone hollow cubone hollow basic HP 70 Wait, why is the fighting energy red? Hmm. It's an old one. For one energy, Leer. Flip a coin. If heads, your opponent's active Pokemon is now paralyzed. For two energy, Headbutt does 20 damage. Rockruff. Basic. HP 60. For one energy, Double Draw draw two cards and for three energy rear kick does 30 hp and machop basic hp 70 for